Hey guys, I decided to make this video just to show that I can do um, these 220 plus uh, countries and territories on Soterra now, 100%, uh, which is kind of neat. Um, my record is around 7 minutes. I, uh, I guess I can see if I can try and beat it, but I think it's unlikely because I haven't done this in a while. So, um, I'm pro you know, I'm out, of, I'm out of practice, I probably won't be able to go as quick, but, you know, whatever, we'll see. Uh, so let's begin. Like that it's almost the same as the Ireland flag but the colors are reversed I still want to learn all the flags too I don't know them yet but um, I guess that'll be my next goal hope that I'm going to beat my record. I'm, I'm already going pretty slow, but whatever. I could have done it a cool way by clicking on Kaliningrad, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Try pronouncing that one. <laughs> so, this is American Samoa, that one's regular Samoa. I guess I could talk about some fun facts I know with um, all this stuff maybe as I go. Mm. Equatorial Guinea, um, there's like an island there that's actually where the capital is. Uh, it has like more land on, you know, mainland Africa, but that's not the capital. Bulgaria, Cape Verde. <laughs> Yeah, I guess maybe I'll just I'll go kind of slow and I'll talk about some fun facts I know. I don't know fun facts about every place, but you know why not? That's Cape Verde. I believe it's uh, owned by Spain. Fun fact, I guess, even though it's you know over here off Af off of Africa. This country has, has like ceased existing many times and it's had very different shapes too. Um, 
either being controlled by Russia or by Germany at different times. Barbados is this this one that's like to the like pretty far east compared to all the other lesser Antilles here. Somali land, breakaway region of um, Somalia is right here. I think it's a it's based on religious purposes or something. Ah, Granada, Israel, Kenya, Kenya, and these other countries here. That's like Victoria, like uh, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, and that's um, uh, what is it called again? It's like a if you look if you zoom into it, it looks like a heart. It starts with a B. Um, but this region is called the African Rift Valley, and that's where humans first evolved, um, you know, however many years ago, which is kind of neat. One sec. <clears throat> Turks and Caicos, here off of the Bahamas, Mali, Uzbekistan. Slovenia. The reason that all of these countries, their borders are so messy, by the way, is because um, when they were part of the Soviet Union, um, and this is a thing that uh, that Stalin did quite a bit, actually, is he he moved, he like forced um, a bunch of different like people groups to move around and like go to go to like other areas in the Soviet Union. So like he he got he forced a bunch of like. <laughs> Um, like, in this case, like, Tajiks or whatever, he forced them to, like, go up here, you know, by Kyrgyzstan, and, um, so when, when they split from the Soviet Union way later, um, they had to, like, do all these, you know, exclaves and enclaves and, like, these little strips and stuff like that to match the people groups with, um, where, like, where they lived now, like, because they had been moved, so, yeah. Slovenia, little tiny guy. Ah, Bernica Fasau. Bernica Fasau has a, uh, like a city named Manga. <laughs> That's my fun fact for it. Kiribati. Fun fact about Kiribati is that, um, you might reckon, if you, if you look at, like, the, the date lines, like the international date lines and stuff like that, um, you might notice that there's, that you see the shape there like in the Pacific, because, um, and that's because at some point Kiribati decided that they were just gonna, like, switch days, like, they're gonna, they're gonna, they wanted to, um, like, one of their main trading partners was, uh, Australia, so they, um, they decided to, like, match up with Australia, so they were on one side, and then they flipped to the other side, so, like, there's this big, like, thing on the international date line that goes and, like, goes around Kiribati, actually, um, Liechtenstein. Uh, I believe that's the wealthiest nation per capita in the world. Um, maybe that's old. That's like uh, maybe it's out of date now, but you know, whatever. Also, really tiny. Uh, I mean, you can't even tell it from here. But like, a lot of people think Luxembourg's tiny right there, but like Liechtenstein is like way tinier than that. It's um almost like a microstate. I don't know if it's really considered a microstate, though, compared to, like, you know, the Va Vatican City here, or, um, or Andorra, or Monaco, but, uh, but it is very small. The Gambia. It's this little, like, this tiny country here that literally just goes around the Gambia River. Looks kind of like a worm. <laughs> Peru, Madagascar, Vatican. Just was talking about that. Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea is um is pretty neat because there's um there's a bunch of people that are like they don't they don't know about like modern civilization that live in there. They just like live in the jungle and they've just never like encountered them, which is kind of neat. Samoa, there we go, that's Samoa, Armenia, right there, one of the Caucasus, Albania, there. 
Cambodia, U.S. Wait, let's click it. On, click on it in a cool way. Oh, we can't. Okay, whatever. Jamaica, Panama. Fun fact about Panama is that it used to be part of um, Colombia, and uh, I believe that it ended up splitting off, partly because of like when the U.S. wanted to build the canal there. Um, I don't know, it was something like related to that, and that's why they split off from Colombia. <clears throat> but anyways, Uruguay, Palestine, Czechia, Djibouti, <laughs> South Tone Prince, Martinique is this one. That's good, I almost messed that one up. Venezuela. Fun fact about Venezuela is that, um, uh, I mean, a lot of people know that its its economy is, like, really bad right now. Um, but because it's, like, it has, it has access to so much oil, um, its citizens, like, almost, like, get oil for free, basically. Like, they, they can almost, like, get gas for free. But it's not really of much use because, like, people can't afford cars or, like, food or anything like that. So, <laughs> it's not a good deal. Um, you know, even though right now in a lot of parts of the world you'd probably be a bit envious that uh, they get almost free gas. <laughs> so, Malawi, Kosovo. Kosovo breakaway region of Serbia here. Bonaire. Uh, the right in this one is Bonaire. Caledonia, Mongolia. Fun fact about Mongolia, uh, well, a couple actually. Um, they have more horses than people <laughs> in Mongolia, um, which I guess kind of makes sense, you know, because that's, um, you know, way back in the day when Genghis Khan, you know, had the Mongolian Empire. He used, like, horses to travel really long distances, and he conquered, like, half of the world doing that, you know. And uh, I guess that's. Their culture is maintained a little bit. Uh, the other fun fact is that um, there, there's a region in China, I think it goes like around here or something like that, around this edge like that borders Mongolia, that's called Inner Mongolia. And uh, there's actually more Mongolians living in Inner Mongolia than live in the country of Mongolia. <laughs> so that's kind of neat. Paul right there in the Himalayas. Moldova. Moldova, right here. Uh, Moldova fact, um, it used to be part of Romania, but, um, you know, when it, when it, when the USSR existed, they, um, they, like, had that portion of land. I don't know exactly how they got it, but, like, they took that land from, you know, Romania, and, um, just over time, uh, because they were part of the, the USSR, um, they kind of, like, developed a little bit of, like, a nationality, like, an identity on their own when the USSR dissolved, and, uh, that's why they're a separate country, uh, now than Romania, and they're, they're also, um, the poorest country in, um, in Europe right now. I'm pretty sure that's still true, so, yeah. Hopefully they get more, more funds soon. St. Kitts and Nevis. Uh, wait a minute, no, it's this one. Okay. That's, um, St. Lucia, I believe. Cyprus. Nigeria. Fun Nigeria fact, um, it is the most, uh, populous country in Africa. And, um, you know, famously China and India are, like, the two, um, the two most populated right now, but it's expected that, um, Nigeria's population is going to surpass, like, at least India in the next, um, I don't know, like, 20 or so years, something like that. <clears throat> Algeria. Algeria is the largest country, um, in the, um, Arabic world. It's, uh, it, m it might be hard to compare, but, like, Saudi Arabia is actually a bit smaller than it. Um, Guinea Bissau is this little guy here. Sudan. South Sudan is the newest country in the world. I believe um, they, like,
like we're officially a country in 2011. Um, it broke away from Sudan because of uh, religious differences. Um, and also, like, you know, Sudan is mostly in uh, the Sahara. The Nile flows through it, so, like, there's some population around there, but it's mostly in the Sahara, and then, like, South Sudan is, um, like, right when you start to get to, like, sub-Saharan area. <clears throat> Dominica is here. Pitcairn. Pitcairn are these really far out ones here. Maldives. Togo. Really thin there. Sometimes I do um I do this quiz, but I um I, I, I make it so there aren't any borders. So you can like turn on let's see if I scroll down here. You can see this game mode. I'm not gonna change it now because it'll probably like wipe everything, but um there's a game like there's like a game mode called pin uh hard no borders and so hard basically just means that um if you notice like here whenever i click a a country like it it turns white and um if i like if i try and click on it again like i obviously i know that this isn't montenegro but if i like click here it'll just say the name of the country or, and um <clears throat> It won't like count that as like a wrong guess. On hard, um, the countries don't <clears throat> like they, they briefly turn white and then they like go back to green. So that way, if you um, if you click on like if I were to click here, then it would like think that it, it would say that like I tried to you know select um, that Uzbekistan was um, Montenegro and. Um, yeah, and then I, I I would lose that lose out on that point, and then of course no no borders is what it sounds like. You, you don't get like these lines, these border lines anywhere. So, <laughs> and Togo is extremely hard to get on no borders, hard. I think I've like gotten it only like one time. <laughs> uh, anyways, Montenegro right here. Oman. Oman, I believe, is the only country that starts with an O. I guess that's a fun fact. Central African Republic, Brunei. Brunei, this little part here in uh, in Malaysian territory. Uh, Curaçao. Curaçao is the middle one. Monaco. Monaco might actually be the wealthiest country per capita in the world now. It's very small and very wealthy. <coughs> there, Haiti. It's uh, the other half of Hispaniola, so this whole island is called uh, Guadalupe. Is this? Yes, Romania. Bahrain, that's how you pronounce it. Um, Belize, right here. Kuwait. Uh, fun Kuwait fact, um, it's very small, and it's like right here, but it actually has, um, I think, like, the most oil reserves out of like any of the Middle Eastern countries, even though it's like has that really tiny area. French Polynesia is this big grouping of islands here. Belgium. Fun Belgian fact, I guess, is that um, uh, there's no Belgian language. Um, there's just like, there's like two. There's two main um, sections of it, like in the north and south, um, and the north one is called uh, Flanders, and the south one is called Wallonia, and in Flanders they speak um, Dutch, and in Wallonia they speak French, and um, the capital, um, why can't I think of the name of the capital now, uh, Brussels, of course, Brussels, um, they they're like officially bilingual but most people there speak french even though it's like i think surrounded by flanders which is interesting france now france uh cool thing about france is that um all of its uh, like island territories um are are not territories they're just considered part of france itself they they're not like distinguished that way and so because of that um I, i'm gonna click on france the cool way I'm gonna click on French Guiana because it's considered part of France and France gets selected. 
uh, a Chad right there. I like Chad because it kind of looks like a Chad. <laughs> uh, Tokala, what's there? Niue, what's there? Andorra is like a little micro state um, in the Pyrenees between France and Spain. Serbia. Right there. Um, well, there's there's a lot of fun facts about Singapore, but well, actually, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you too. So one of them is um, that you know most most countries um, they have to like fight for their independence and stuff, and um, and then like you know they they might they might eventually get it if they do that. But Singapore um, was originally a part of uh, Malaysia, but they were actually kicked out of Malaysia by Malaysia. And um, that's that's why they're their own country now, and now they're like ridiculously wealthy <laughs> and well off. Um, and you know, Malaysia is kind of like a like a rival to them. You know, you got Kuala Lumpur over here that's like trying to do a lot of the things that Singapore does already. And it is like the true, it's like the only true city state in the world now, which is kind of interesting. <clears throat> but uh, uh, yeah, Ireland. Zambia, Zambique, Zimbabwe, Cameroon. Cameroon looks like a chicken, doesn't it? <laughs> Puerto Rico. Uh, there. Denmark, Kyrgyzstan, Dr. Congo, South Africa, Burundi. That was the name of that heart-shaped country I couldn't remember earlier. <coughs> Paraguay, here. Cook, Montserrat, Dominican Republic, Sudan, Jordan, Austria. Uh, fun Austria fact. Um, there's also not an Austrian language. They just speak German. <laughs> they just speak German there. Um, Aruba. Latvia, last of the um, Baltic states, Eritrea, Colombia, Antigua and Barbuda, that's the last of the Oscar Antilles, Libya, Trans Transnistria, Transnistria. So remember like my Moldova fact where like Moldova was part of the Soviet Union and kind of like you know, had its own, like, national identity after that, and that's why they're still separate from Romania. Well, Transnistria is, like, a breakaway region from Moldova that is, like, extremely... I mean, you can tell from their flag, like, they're... They, they just they just straight up want to join with Russia again, I believe. <laughs> so, they're... So, it's, it's kind of funny how, like, you know, this little, like, piece of Romania broke off from the, um... On the, um you know, the, the northeast. And then that that region itself has a breakaway region in its northeast. <laughs> For like the same kinda like the same reason but more extreme. Uh <laughs> it's kinda neat. Uh Mauritius. Canada. There we go. Well, um I hope you enjoyed uh, you know what I just saw also though look at this there's just uh, 350 countries territories now and um, <laughs> I think that'll be my next goal I want to I want to get I want to get all those down too but maybe some other time not for now well see ya